Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. And today's edition we have here is uh, from Dragon Wings. It is from the Warbird series. It is one seventy-second scale diecast, and it's a Focke Wolf one ninety A eight. Um, as it says here, black double chevron, which is those symbols are right there. And it is one flown by uh, Hoffman Paul Heinrich Dahn. Hoffman obviously is uh, German for captain, for those that uh, are unaware. And uh, he was a Luftwaffe fighter ace, credited with uh, around 100 aerial victories. Um, there was, you know, some saying 99, some saying over 100, so it sort of settled around, uh, around 100 aerial victories is pretty fair to assume of what he did achieve. And um, he flew uh, around 600 combat missions to get those, and he flew with JG-52, JG-11, and JG-1, which this particular aircraft is from. So we'll just open this flap here. It is the pretty pretty standard sort of nothing really written in there. It's got the aircraft in there. And um, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll get this particular aircraft out of the box. Here we have the aircraft out of the box. And um, as you can see, that's missing a couple of little pieces of ordnance, which are these pieces here. I did buy the second hand uh, for around 40 bucks, as I said. And um, so I didn't mind that it was missing that little bit of ordnance. We'll just grab his aircraft out. This will be the last uh, Fokker Wolf that uh, Darn would fly. Uh, he would later be killed in April of 1945 um, in a flight accident while training on the Heinkel 162, the jet, small jet fighter. After issues with the engine in, in that Heinkel, uh, Dan tried ejecting. Unfortunately, the canopy didn't eject prior to his seat ejecting. The impact from that um, actually crushed his skull, so when his seat ejected into the fixed canopy, and um, that killed him instantly, unfortunately, but age 23... This, this is the, the last Focke Wolf he did fly, and um, the actual rendition itself is really nice. We'll have a little look at those details there. You can see the panel lines are really nice. These dragon wings are, are really, really well done. Um, the canopy does, does slide open and closed. It does have a, a little bit of um, tail rudder movement. Same with the, the rear. These, these move up and down a little bit as well, which is a little bit of a novel feature. And I think overall it's um it is pretty pretty good for what it is. We'll have a look underneath the aircraft. Like it's got some reasonable sort of engine detail in there. You can't really see much anyway. We'll have a look underneath. You can see it's in in the in-flight mode, and I think obviously the uh, stand will go there. This didn't come with a stand either, which you know doesn't bother me. But uh, what we'll do is we'll um we'll kit this out and put some proper landing gear on it and put some propellers on it and everything like that. So this is his aircraft all kitted out. The um, fuel, the tank and the, that just drops in, it actually drops in over the hole for the stand. So if you've got this center line uh, pylon on, you can't put the stand on anyway. And um, the landing gear just drops straight in uh, and, and the uh, aerial and the gun nubs just push straight in there too. And overall it's, look, the details on it, pretty good. It is a dragon. I, I think these are a fairly good quality um, finish for the for the aircraft that they they make, and um, I, I think it's a pretty pretty good little rendition of a uh, Fock Wolf, and uh, I think it comes up alright. So what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll leave it at that. So we'll put it down on the uh, deck and hope that everything sits nicely. And it does. We'll zoom in a little bit. And uh, that's it. So once again, this is the uh, Focke Wolf 190 A8 by uh, Dragon Wings. It is 172nd scale diecast. It is from the Warbird series, and it is the one flown by Hopman Paul Heinrich Dahn uh, from JG1 in 1945, just prior to him switching over to a, um, his training in the Heinkel HE 162. All right, guys, thank you so much. And uh, if you did enjoy the this little video, throw us a like. That'd be awesome. And even subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. You know the deal, I'll uh, chuck some pics of this uh, without the sausage fingers in the way. And you can check this uh, out in, in, in better detail. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Cheers guys.